happy today. And uh, yeah, it's going to be very, very tough. They're not going to have to go too quick. And good horses have won the Welsh National in the past. The likes of Corbiere and Borough Hill Lad and Car Master Carver's Oaks. Hill. Carver's Hill. Yeah. Oh. He was sensational. Don't know whether we've got one quite that good in the field today, but it's a very competitive lineup. And here are some of the big names that are going for it. So, yeah, that field for the Welsh National down to 19. And I would be very surprised if more than five or six finished that race as evidence of that. Have a look at the first race that was run here over fences at £10,000. And Sam Thomas and Paul Barber, uh, his colours there that Sam carried to Gold Cup victory on Denman. They've given to the Welsh Guards Afghanistan appeal to be auctioned, and that should raise a fair few grand, it? should, it? Claire. Hopefully it'll go. Laugh him, though, riding that finish on that on that on uh, on the video yeah, game. Stylish. I've, most stylish I've ever seen him. <laughs> he might have to be doing that later on Kilbeg and Blade yeah, in the Welsh yeah. National, mightn't he? That's right, a long way out, I should think, as well. Yeah. Getting fit for him. But great to have the Welsh Guards here today, and I know they'll get a tremendous reception from the, from the crowd. And, it and should, yes, the, certainly. The other point to make is, is when you suddenly meet them, you do realise that, that I know jockeys have a tough life, but it is nothing it, it compared puts... to... Well, we have just heard that the Grand National winner, Mon Mom, is a non-runner in the Welsh National. Venetia Williams probably looking at that ground, thinking, don't want to risk him on that. Mon Mom is out. Irish de Balm was a non-runner earlier today, so the field for the Welsh National is now down to 18, but it still is a race with tremendous excitement. Lots in there with a chance of winning the Coral Welsh National. And Ollie travelled all the way down from Scotland with silver by nature. And, and Lucinda, hello. And Peter Skewdemore as well here, who I know is very helpful at home with you. Um, and I said to him earlier, you must have a real chance. And then he went all negative on me, which I'm assuming is just nerves. I think it's just nerves. I've never seen him quite so nervous. <laughs> is he, are you really jumpy? Yeah, it's funny, isn't it, having ridden in all these races and stuff. You don't, it doesn't, being a jockey, you don't appreciate the build-up to it and stuff. Because I've either been riding or sat in the BBC before doing it. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I am nervous. Yeah, I think, I think that the horse can run well if, if all goes right. So, fingers crossed. So, uh, we'll see. And I think you described him as tough and honest and brave. That's the horse, not Skew. Well, yeah, no, that's definitely the horse. And it's going to be a real stamina test today with that ground, so um, hopefully it'll be the right thing for him. And in fact, if you look just over there, there he is. Great horse. Still works. Another runner is old Benny. Would you give him a bit of a squeak? It's only his second run back from after a long break, and he just might find him out today. You know, I would be a little bit worried that it's maybe coming a bit sooner than him, but where else do you go with him? So we'll let, the table, let him take his chance and um, see how it goes. Well, the jockeys are just coming in. Good luck to Alan King. If you just come around here, Le Beau Bay, the, the favourite team is here. Ollie Greenalt just coming in to say hello to the owners. Richard Lee here, who trains the horse, who's had real trouble getting any work into him, because you've had snow, haven't you, at home? We've still got it. <laughs> we have some if you want it. Um, yeah, the bottom half of our... Everybody up. Sarah Kemp singing Land of My Fathers, and everybody who was inside the grandstand keeping themselves warm earlier have come out, their claws ringing out, both for her and for the Welsh Guard. Parade today, and Philip Hobbs, his first Welsh national winner. He's had a few go close in the past. This time he managed to win it with the 20 to 1 shot Dream Alliance. And the only reason he was 20 to 1 is that we've hardly seen him, and his last run was over hurdles. And always difficult when they're coming back from an injury, however good they have seemed in the past, to get them fit and ready, get them confident, 